Hey guys, it's Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire. Um, I want to talk to y'all today about a subject that is very, very controversial subject. Uh, there are people, their families are divided over this. I have seen, I mean, there are old ladies that will fight you. Oh, I mean, just fight you over this subject. Um, I really am kind of worried about talking about it because, you know, there are certain things, you know, you're thinking, well, if I talk about this, you know, I may lose some subscribers and stuff like that. But I'm going to talk about it uh, anyway. I'm talking about... Banana pudding. Banana pudding is one of the most divisive things that I can think of. There are people that just got mad because I didn't say nanner pudding. They're upset just because I didn't say nanner pudding because they think that's the way you're supposed to say it or because I didn't say banana pudding. Or because I, you know, because I didn't say it right. I mean, they think you got to say it a certain way, and you got to make it a certain way. When I say you got to make it a certain way, you got two sides. You got the traditionalists, which are the people that say you have to cook it. You got to cook the pudding. If it's not cooked, it's not banana pudding. There are people that say, you got to have meringue. If it's not cooked with meringue, that's not banana pudding. It's, it's, I, I don't know what they think it is, but it's not banana pudding. Then you have the people that make it into more of a, a chilled dessert. Like, it's banana flavored pudding with like maybe Cool Whip. And almost all of them use vanilla wafers in them uh, and, you know, bananas cut up in it. But hardly anybody likes them both. Most people like one or the other. They like the traditional cooked banana pudding with the meringue or they like the more chilled banana pudding with Cool Whip. And... I'll put it this way. When I think of banana pudding, I think of this. Cooked with the meringue. So in my mind, in my brain, if somebody says, hey Chris, we're bringing you some banana pudding. This is what I expect to eat. Right here. Is this. If I don't get this, so I, I can't, even if it's good, in my mind, I, it's this. And I can't get past that. I can't eat your banana pudding that's chilled with the, I'm sorry. So, not that there's anything wrong with that kind of banana pudding, but I'm on this side. I'm on the cooked, and I'm going to say it. I'll say it out loud on YouTube. I am for the cooked banana pudding with the meringue. And I will accept no less. <laughs> but it's so good. But, that, but that's just what I grew up eating. So you have the other people that, you know, maybe their mama made the chilled banana pudding with the Cool Whip and, you know, and they love it. And that's great. But that's you. Okay. Uh, but I'm telling you now, people get wound up about their banana pudding recipe. And if you try to suggest, you know, to a person that makes the chilled banana pudding with Cool Whip, or their family makes the chilled banana pudding with Cool Whip, and you try to suggest that that banana pudding is not as good as this banana pudding, I mean, man, you might as well get ready. It's on. It's it's on. <laughs> it is a, the people up north, I mean, do y'all get this? Do y'all eat this? I know I got people that watch in Canada, you know, and Wisconsin and Washington State and all this kind of, do y'all eat, but is this something that you guys eat? I know sometimes I say things that y'all don't understand and I have to kind of re-explain it because I'm from the South and apparently I've 
can't talk plain. But now this speaks for itself. But I, I do, I would like to know, do you guys eat this? Do you get this? Because if you don't get this, and either one of them, if you don't get the cooked banana pudding or the chilled banana pudding, if you don't get some kind of banana pudding where you live, you need to move. You need to move to the south because this is what we're eating. And this is good. Hmm. I mean, I can't even explain how good that is. And I'm on a diet. I'm not supposed to be eating this. And I already ate it one time today. But I had to make it because we had a cooking contest thing we had to do. So I had to make it. And, and I did make this. This is what I make. So I am capable of doing some things, but if you don't have banana pudding where you live, wherever it is in the world, you need to get, you either need to get this recipe and make it. Watch my wife's channel, Call Her Valley Cook. She'll show you how to make it. Either you need to get this recipe and make it, or you need to get somewhere where somebody can make it. Because this is probably like the best thing in the world. Not to make the people mad that make the children. To them, that's the best thing in the world. But this right here now, hmm, no, damn, I gotta turn that camera off because this is just too good. Nichols Retirement Empire, you guys have a good day and get you some banana pudding. And don't be mad at each other. Don't divide your families and your churches and over and over the chilled banana pudding and, and cooked banana pudding debate. That's not worth it. Well, can't we all just... Let's just get along. Let's bring the world together through banana pudding, not separate it, not divide it.